Some people distinguish between microevolution and macroevolution. The first person to do that that I'm aware of was Theodosius Dobzhansky, uh, a prominent neo-Darwinist back in the 1930s. He wrote that uh, microevolution is that which we see happening in existing species. Macroevolution are the large-scale events that we see in the history of life, you know, the, the origin of the phyla, the, the origin of new species. And he admitted at the time, I believe it was 1937, that uh, we have no direct evidence for macroevolution, so we have to extrapolate what we see going on within existing species as though it were the explanation for macroevolution. And uh, as far as I know, it has never really gotten beyond that. Uh, you, you ask uh, Darwinists nowadays, what's the evidence for your theory? And almost invariably, they will refer to changes in existing species, microevolution. Well, how do we know that that leads to macroevolution? The truth is we don't. Nobody has ever observed microevolution causing macroevolution. Despite 150 years of research, no one has taken a, an existing species, applied Darwinian mechanisms of selection and variation, and turned that species into two species. They haven't even gotten to the first step in macroevolution in terms of observing the process. So this, this extrapolation remains controversial.